Minasan Konnichiwa, this is David. I'm doing a quick review of the HGBF 144th scale um, Lightning Gundam kit. Easy for you to say. Yeah. This is the um, 1144 um, from Build Fighters Try. Um, this would be um, Yuma Kuska's mo mobile suit. Uh, one of the three main protagonists from the new Build Fighters series. Uh, this is actually two kits. Um, this is the Lightning Gundam kit and the Lightning Back Weapon System. I, um, they go together. Unlike some of the Build Fighters sets, um, the backpack stuff is actually not included in the main kit. Um, you have to get it separate. But it kind of makes sense without he's just fine. I mean, he's just a sniper type mobile suit. Um, the back turns him into something entirely different and it's sort of his gimmick. Um, so to get started off, um, the legs kind of suck. Uh, with the backpack on, he doesn't really stand up unless you have him tilted forward heavily. Um, if you're going to put him with the backpack, put him on an action base. Also, I don't know if you can see right here, those are supposed to be flush seams. Um, in fact, they were flush seams and they are flush seams up until you put the backpack on. Whenever you put the backpack on, that piece actually snaps off a little bit uh, because of the weight of the thing. This backpack is um, not light. It's actually most of the weight of the mobile suit um, just by itself. That's not even the entire backpack technically. Um, this piece right here is the other part of the backpack. Um, it can be worn as a shield on his arm. Um, it just snaps onto the arm, but he can't do it whenever he's holding the sniper rifle. Um, so he comes with his sniper rifle, which is um, a huge thing here. He has um, the sniper rifle clips into his shoulder there. His shoulders have these, these green vents. Um, these sort of energy generating vent thingies. And then the sniper rifle also connects to the shield, uh, which can be used to stabilize it whenever he's aiming. Um, Reminds me of the uh, Yakushiki's giant... The, oh yeah, the Mega Bazooka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of the the Ground War um, style, the, the Gundam Ground type. Mm -hmm. um, the RX-78 or 79, I believe. Um, it uses the shield um, to brace its rifle. Um, it's a sort of classic, iconic piece. But um, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Uh, it's This is a Zeta kit. Um, and it's very reminiscent of a lot of the Zeta kits. The legs are, as I said um, during the unboxing, very, very Zeta. Um, pretty simple, but they're not very stable. The joint pieces... Um, they don't like to hold tight very well. Um, there's some really weak polycaps going on. This might be the specific one that I've got, um, but I've found there's a lot of little places like that, like the um, like the skirts, the front skirts. Sorry, that's my son. The front skirts um, are not at all stable. They just sort of flop around. Uh, I ha I did separate them. That is something that um, is not standard that's technically a custom thing but they're all built to be separated like that so i i pretty much always do it uh i don't think it would have been much different if i hadn't because it's so loose um i haven't seen a front skirt that was this loose in a while ha 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 yeah so the um the side skirts uh they actually hold they hold the um beam saber uh handles they are not easily accessible one of the things you're going to find about this kit is that all of the gimmicks are pretty much inaccessible unless you take the part off. Um, sort of feels classic in that regard. Now, this, this rifle is enormous, so I can't really blame him for not being able to stand very well with it. He'll always tilt forward with it in his hand. I'm the same way. Yeah. So... The sniper rifle is um, a modular kit. You come out of the way here. The sniper rifle will come apart slightly. The big part will come off, and you can trade it out for the smaller part. It just slides in, and it becomes a, a smaller, more reasonable sort of battle rifle thing. 
um, but he is a sniper. Um, that is his strong point. So that's the default configuration. Um, the backpack comes with these additional guns. These um, actually will go right here. There's a there's a missile pod in there. You can take that missile pod out and take the cover off, and these guns will snap onto that. I think they kind of look ugly, um, so I didn't put them on there. Um, I don't like them. How um, they do, however, go onto the lightning gun them in themselves. Um, again, I think they're kind of ugly. They're just these sort of narrow things that pop off of them whenever they're on. So not very thrilled with it. All right, now um, the backpack has quite a few little toggle pieces. Um, all of these wing pieces will move. Um, that will pop up and this piece will actually come out. Now the backpack is, is weird. It's a little flimsy. Um, it flops around. There is a piece in there that it will affix to, but it doesn't stay on at all. It's very tiny, very tiny, very precarious. So, whenever that is on, it is sort of relaxed. It doesn't stay on there very well. Um, I don't know if that's intended or not. Now, to get it back into its normal mode, you pop that down, and then you take off, you take off that piece. It actually comes all the way off, and you slide it in there, and then that piece that comes out and becomes a nose fan piece. Uh, I will note, this little piece comes with it. This is an adapter for other Build Fighters kits. This piece right here will actually affix it to the burn Build Burning Gundam. Um, now, in its default configuration, you can pop this nose piece on and turn this thing into a sort of independent jet piece. And apparently you're getting the singing styles of my son in the background here. He's delirious with his fever. Yeah, he's very sick right now, so he's got to be hanging around. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to do the transformation. This is actually the first time I've done it, so bear with me for a couple seconds. If everything explodes, we're very sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there, there shouldn't be explosions, but we'll find out. <laughs> so these shoulder things go up. Um, also, the head is really flimsy like it doesn't really want to stay in one position very well um, I don't like that in kits um, but that's very reminiscent of 90s style gunpla um, okay so you twist the arms so the shoulders are facing backwards and the wrists are facing inward you pull them up so it looks kind of like he's doing a Macarena type thing. Um, and then you pull the arms down and then fold these things back in. Um, the arms fold up and inward and sort of tuck into those little blue pieces there. That's actually a little bit more elegant than a lot of the transforming suits I've seen where you actually have to take off the, the um, hand pieces. I never, ever, ever like that. I think it's terrible. Okay. Then the legs. You have to pull out these pieces, these um, knees. And then he, you tilt down his toes. Hmm. And this one's being very resistant. Okay, it finally came, um, and of course his waist came apart. It's the waist. The waist connector is very loose. Um, I found that was the same thing with the Build Burning Gundam as well. I don't know what that is, um, if it's um, a polycap issue or what, but they both were very loose and they both keep coming off um, with very very little effort. Okay, so the knees then bend up.
And then the knee guard's been down again. The skirts go on top. Dage. The skirts go on top of the knees. And then now um, we pop this thing on. It goes together in, in its assembled form. It goes on top of him. Um, Jet robot planking. We don't know. Yeah. Okay, so there is the basic jet form. Oh, and the shield will actually snap onto that. And oh, the shield actually covers most of his head, which is another problem that I have with a lot of transforming suits is the head either has to come off or it looks annoying. Um, so that actually does some good there. That's that's nice. And the rifle attaches to the arm, which of course makes it so skewed in one direction um, as far as the weight goes um, that it would be completely impractical. But you know, it's fucking robots. Yeah, giant robots. It is giant robots. Miniature giant ten plastic robots. Confusing. Um. These missile pods are really annoying. They're, um, they do not want to come up. You have to basically snap off the cover in order to make that work. Uh, I don't like that, not one little bit. But there he goes. Um, that is him in his fully transformed state. Um, I'm not complaining. It's actually one of the better transforming suits. Um, I, I'm not really a fan of the Zeta style transforming stuff. Um, and it's a little bit, it looks a little bit more elegant than the, the Curios Gundam. I made the mistake of putting on the stickers. Um, the stickers um, are already coming off. I never really like them. So, but no, it's, um, it's an okay kit. Um, this is the second time so far I have said this about a Build Fighters kit, but it's um, kind of a little bit of a disappointment, not a huge disappointment. Um, the Power GM Cardigan is similarly a pretty unstable kit. The build Burning Gundam was wonderful. It was really, really great, uh, really stable, really well balanced, um, and as you can see, fell apart again. So um, this is really um, a, a posing Gundam. Um, you don't really, really fuck around with him too much. Okay, uh, so if you're gonna put him on the shelf to look at in one position, he's fine. Yes. If you um, want something you can mess around with, you want the build Burning Gundam. Yeah, yeah. If you really want to pose things and stuff, the Bill Burning Gundam is a much better way to go. But uh, th this is this is nice. But he's he's not going to be able to be posed very much. Like his legs are already showing some wear and tear, and I've really only fussed with them for like the last forty five minutes. Um, so this is not a very stable kit. Um, if you want to put him in its jet form, you will need an action base. Uh, I would not set him down. For one, it kind of looks dumb. Um, but you'll, you'll want an action base. He does have the standard adapter place for that. Um, but no, uh, he's, he's a solid okay. Um, I'm not entirely thrilled with him, but I'm also not completely disappointed with him. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, oh. And man, that thing, that thing is probably the most stable connection um, I've seen on that kit, is the, the arms here. Of the three, three tri-kits that you've built so far, what would you say is the easiest for somebody who wants to get started or wants to give this to a younger fan? Oh, the easiest by far is the, um, the Bill Burning Gundam. Okay. Um, well, not, I wouldn't say by far. I wouldn't, this is actually a really easy build. Um, the GM Cardigan took a little longer. Um, not a, not a whole lot longer, but a little bit longer. Um, and it has like sort of complicated arm parts. I wouldn't really give them to a younger builder right, right away. They might get a little frustrating. Lots of tiny parts. Um, actually he goes out of his flight mode a lot easier than he goes into it. Um, and I do like that the arm will hold the, the rifle part. Um, when the winning Gundam comes out, we should see if Tina can build it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. I'll try to have my uh, my seven year old build the winning Gundam whenever it comes out. Um, I've I am optimistic, but sort of not very optimistic about it. I'm sort of disappointed to see that the main girl character has an SD Gundam, but you know it is what it is. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, and we'll see what she gets replaced with in the later part of the season. But anyway, here is our Lightning Gundam. Uh, I think in his straight up standing position, he looks neat. Uh, with his sniper rifle, he looks neat. Um, he's not a great posing kit. He's not a very stable kit. Those legs, they're not gonna last for very long. Um, so again, not very active. Don't be very active with it, but if you're not interested in that, that's, that's fine. Um, unless you wanna pose him in his backpack form, um, in like with the jet or with the backpack, um, unless that's a huge priority for you, I probably wouldn't bother with it because all it does is weigh him down uh, and make him less poseable, like significantly, not like, you know, oh, this is the, the ale strike pack for the strike um, level. This is, this is way less poseable um, and way less balanced. You, like, you have to actually struggle to get him to balance with this thing on his back. Um, and it's not very stable uh, on its own. Yeah, it just sort of flops. And if he's standing straight up, there's a good chance it falls back. Doesn't look great. Um, I guess if you were going to pose him like that permanently, and I might end up doing this, I might end up just gluing it. Um, it's also it's also separated from his body by a significant margin, uh, which is not good. Not good. Um, But there we go. Um, okay, Kit. If you like our videos, please um, like, comment, subscribe, and um, we do take requests. So, catch you later. Mommy.